so hello guys welcome back to the channel this is the part 2 of the module 1 of this series so make sure you have completed the module 1 first of all then only you will be able to complete this one you can see here so we are just starting the module 2 now here we will be setting up our development environment so first of all you have to just see it over here you can just read it in case you want now let's dive in directly now here my agent force organization is open by default if it's not showing you can just select it this one make sure you have selected correct one now simply click on launch it will take some time now here basically we have to just open the id and just initiate some of the workflows so how we have to do come over here wait for the page to fully load now you can see this settings icon wait for it to load fully now here we have to just open the agent force wipes so just take it will take some time wait for it now once it is ready you can see it's ready now first of all disable this click on this settings now here you can see this one click on it now it will load a new page over here so just wait for this page to fully open now here click on accept now here you can see here they have mentioned that it may take some time basically the setup process may take some time so wait for it and if you are unable to find it you can see here you have to just click on the activity bar and just check the i agree and continue okay like this so simply wait for the environment to get set up it will mostly take two to four minutes so just wait for it sometimes it can easily set up early also so just wait now here it may ro reload multiple times so just wait for it now here but just like vs code uh, id will be opened and here basically we have to run a prompt and then we have to just check the scope it's very easy just follow as i am doing now here it will take some time for load the properly load all the things so you need to just stay a little bit patience and then you have to just complete it now just wait over here yes we have to just configure it okay you can see here we have to just configure it and then we have to just enter the prompt over here okay so this is the prompt you can see here we have to just enter it now here it will take some time you can see finally it's live now click on i agree and just start building now finally it will take few seconds so just load it and then you have to enter the prompt message how will find the prompt message come over here just copy it carefully select it paste over here and simply you have to just click on this send button now it will generate the prompt and then after that we have to move to the basically instructions manual and then we have to just verify our checkpoint score so just move ahead and check it once the api request is completed okay 